Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Back in the room, mate. Project I'm a, Brother. I'm a big fan of, of, of these lads and what, what they put out. And this is actually I the first this time. I love this YouTube channel. Yeah, this is the first time we're going to check out Barcena Bestar... Bestandi. 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 And, and he's going to cover Fix You, actually, which, you know, I, I, you all know the story of the assembly in my school. This is the song you reflect to. <laughs> Once you blow up a toilet. <laughs> now, this is live in the Roommate Project, which I'm a big fan of, so let's play. Right, okay. Let's start to reflect. <laughs> when you try your best, but you don't succeed. It's got very requested lately, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you get what you want, but not what you need. Love the breathiness, dude. When you feel so tired, but you can't sleep. <laughs> he plays well to the Stuck theme of the song. I'm sorry, but where did he find that note? Where did he come from? He was literally losing the note three seconds ago. He sounds like uh, he's got an equalizer in his voice. He does. That's so he? crazy. That is great. But it's because of that breathiness of uh, like, velvetiness. That velvetiness, yeah, that comes right? With a, uh, the breath. Yeah, I guess. So cool though. Quas is a bit like that as well sometimes. Quasa, yes, yes, yes. From Mama, Mama, Moo. <laughs> Tell me you're a Moo Moo without telling me you're a Moo Moo. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's the name of their fandom. Really? Yes. That's right. I'm one of those. <laughs> Go on. Okay. And the tears come streaming down your face. When you lose something, you can't replace. I love it. How did he do that? I actually don't know, but it, it, it reminds me... cut the airflow, like, just it, randomly. It kind of reminds me of what Ijitaf does in her, mu in awesome. her singing. Go like, stream her original know. music. She's she just released a boss. brand new EP. Go download it. It's yeah. freaking wonderful. Awesome. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. Look at it. Listen to it. Okay, goodbye. She's awesome. When you lose something, you can't replace. It's like a flutter. I don't know how he does that. True. I don't know where that flutter, how you do that flutter. I don't, you don't, I don't see much it. modulation of anything or anything. That's why he takes such deep breaths in between. Right? Yes. <gasps> such big ones. But it's he, interesting and, though. Because he's so... Go on. Yeah, it's, it's really long singing phrases, right? You would assume that that's the reason why for big breaths. But he's taking big chesty breaths. Oh. That he, he holds them right under your armpits. Like, he's digging the breath. Well, that's and he keeps door them. Side, Yeah, so he keeps Which is what usually people used to anchor. Ding, ding. That's the one. Ding. Yes, 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 Efra. Yes! So proud of you, bro. Uh, learning all the singing lingo makes me so happy. Uh, but yeah, so he's taking a big, big chesty breath. Right. So he's holding them all up here and he's holding them there and anchoring under the uh, on the latissimus dorsi. So they, he's just really holding it all up here. Usually, usually. You would take those really big, long breaths and bring them down to your lower tummy. 
so you don't have any pressure, any uh, tension up here in the chest. But given the easy flowing nature of the song and how in control of the environment he is, the the chesty breaths are actually helping him maintain no, note stability too. Right. Uh, but then you see his posture and it's all playing against that idea too. So right. he's a big enigma to me. Right. Go left, because... Because he's sitting like this, he's right. hunched over. So all of the chest breath is just literally staying here. They're staying here, but he continues to sing this way and his larynx are lifted high and he's pushing forward on the on the chin. So I think it's An just, anomaly, out of, just completely, comfort. completely. I think it's also uh, out of comfort, perhaps, right. just to maintain the breathiness and not allow the clear note to filter through too much. But to give you the right type of velvetiness right. that I he's achieving. Can see the posture here. That's, there you go. So it's rounded upper back, concaved on the chest and lifted chin. So that, that tells you this is out of comfort right. or to maintain that sound quality that you're getting. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's, yeah, it wouldn't Again, be my this first is choice. One of those interesting moments where unique, not uniform, that's how you should teach singing and that's how actually naturally things evolve in that manner mm -hmm. and the only question is also are you being the most efficient that you possibly could be or at the end of the day is it detrimental and if those answers are yes and then no you're then you fine should, you should make choices upon those answers yeah, exactly. yeah. modulation in the larynx too i it, i don't know how he's doing any of this this <laughs> is so cool to me <laughs> much of it but so efficiently indeed indeed see this is so much i think it's yeah like you're saying that uh, the breath control that you're seeing here is actually pinnacle Awesome. understanding of what is required for the piece and the choices he has made right from the beginning are just like a, a statement to that to to maintaining that velvetiness that really cool breath uh, breathiness to to the filtering of the sound itself it's like he has a vocal filter yeah yeah it's so in and he comes with that choice of breathiness but it's really interesting though because he's very acrobatic with his runs which don't usually align with the breathiness. You actually need to be very breath economic, economic in, in, in runs like this that are so long and elongated. Uh, but he's just got his it's technique like a, down. It's like a gymnast needs to be able to control their energy expenditure in order to do the full routine. Kind that's of thing. right, that's right. But he's, he's managed a really cool in-between, yeah. you know, that maintains the, the vocal quality to be just as enigmatic as it was at the beginning when it was very calmed and controlled uh, and and still give you high quality runs and vocals that you wouldn't have expected. Here's a funny thing, I bet if we ask him about that, he would just ask just how I learned. Like, that's just, just learn. what I do. Yeah, he wouldn't yeah. really even... I don't think a lot of people give it that much thought. No, 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 but it's so in, that's what I mean. It's like yeah. always take, especially when you look at vocal coaches and all that stuff. <laughs> it's like know. take everything with a grain of salt because Absolutely. that's what I mean. Unique, not uniform. And I actually, I, I was watching this guy. I mean, I don't want to say names, but he, it, and it, this is like the conversations we always have with everyone, right? It's like mm -hmm. you can't have a, a, a set a criteria for judgment in singing. Oh, you cannot. Because it's art, right? No, no, no. And it just comes down to those couple of questions. Number one, does it sound bloody good? 
Number two, is it detrimental? And number three, is it the best it could possibly be? Mm-hmm. Providing the natural... Uh, Inclination of the singer. Of the singer, mm-hmm. right? Because if not, everyone's going to be the same. Everyone's going to sound the same. Everyone's going to utilize the same things. And that's I, one of the biggest pet peeves people have about the music industry overall. Are They all sound the same. Yeah. But then, when, but then when someone, like a vocal coach, looks at someone that uses techniques that are maybe a bit enigmatic... And, and, and but they are anomalies. They are somewhat uh, controversial, and they <laughs> yeah. give him shit for that. It's I'll piss off. <laughs> yeah. How can you say he's a bad singer? Your shit. You know what I mean. <laughs> you try and achieve what, they, what that girl, what that guy achieved. You know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. It, it, it annoys me. It really annoys me. <laughs> okay. Really does. <laughs> now I must punch a pillow. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, I agree. Different. Yeah. Nice. I'm just saying. But don't you agree though? No, I agree. I, I know your background, so when you agree. No, I totally agree. I think it's important to maintain the the uh, an open mind when it comes to understanding singing because it's a very uh, personalized expression, art expression. So it's a you can't really tell a painter how to paint. You know, like you can teach them the basics. You can teach them how to there are principles exactly yes. there are rules there are principles absolutely but you didn't tell picasso you know how to paint whatever like that's not that's not how it goes and i think the beauty is in the eyes of the beholder at the end of the day so you have to be open mind it's, have... it's a matter of balance absolutely and and my my ultimate uh, question is always is this detrimental to their vocal health that is the the only question and the only argument i would have against any singing technique opposed to me i mean you can always learn from all of these different techniques and all these different singers so you have to be uh, open to that learning process too uh, which is a scary it's very scary though because it's like learning to walk again yeah. but is it's there- it's approaching all of these te- new techniques in a different manner. Is though. there disparity and differences in levels? Yes. Yes. There yes. are better singers and there are bad singers. And there are singers that are better than others. For sure. But at the end of the day, this isn't a sport. That's right. So the ranking doesn't bloody matter. I totally agree. You know? Anyways, cool. Yeah, no, that's great. Great point, though. Oh, no. He puts in so much work with so little. And it's so very energy efficient too. You never see him excited. He's so in control. He is fantastic. He needs to teach me how to do that. (laughs) What type of level of stamina is this? He's got gills. Actually, gills mean he can't breathe, right? Outside of the water, no. Yeah. What does he have? I don't know. (laughs) Superhuman lungs. Yeah. An elephant trunk. (laughs) What? I don't know. I'd imagine just <laughs> elephants are very good at breathing, right? Okay. Because they're quite big. Uh, so like one of them fucking lasts for like 12 years. <laughs> you know? And for you, have really weird stuff on, to say. What's his name? His name is Barcena. Barcena. Bestan- Bestandi. Holy shit, dude. No, it's absolutely insane. Down your face When you lose something you cannot replace He makes such interesting choices on things. I like that performance. Freaking good. 
a lot. I think this is one of those sh uh, one of those uh, expressions of personality through a cover that makes the co that makes the original song be like, okay, this is completely different. You know, Super it's like, human. and it's so cool because there are very little, there are very very few artists that manage to do this consistently especially given the fact that the songs have already been super done like it's so old everybody knows that everybody has reimagined that like they've done it in every genre that you could possibly imagine yeah. um so this is one of those moments that that really lets you into the new artists that you are being exposed to for the first time like especially for us in this in this um in this case uh, but there is dynamics there is texture there is personality there are intricate musical choices the technicalities there's... there is so much to literally swim in this ocean of his artistry and i love it let's know what you guys thought about it and uh, please let me know more about his music yes Adios. please okay